Well, today we're putting uh, mats in first herd. We got Terry here. Um, this local is neighbor. what? The local neighbor. <laughs> local neighbor. Yeah. And basically, we have rubber mats in here the last couple years, but they're wore out. Uh, and we're gonna be putting in his, which is this foam and this matting. And basically that's what we're doing today in all the first herd. So we got the floors all cemented. We had to finish cementing a section last week that had older mats in than the rubbers, but these are gonna be good now. So right now, Terry's measuring to get calculations before we uh, start laying stuff down so we're not guessing. So what we can do is uh, roll out this. He measured this, that one on the other end, so we know what sections will go where. They're gonna roll that out all the way. Just, hey, Sammy, just come this way a little bit. Very tight and... One more of those. The muffins? Jacob. Oh, you like those? <laughs> oh, those are good. right here. Either they were pretty good. Well, no, I like so tight. They're trimming stuff away. We're kind of just standing here because we're spinning our wheels. This isn't our territory, Terry. This is their crew's expertise. And why are you cutting that off? So we have a good strip. Uh, because it's rubber, and the rubber membrane doesn't go the full weight to the fabric. So we cut it off to get it even. So when we set it up here, we have rubber all the way. So we're pinning the white strip. And that way Which the rubber that. Uh, holds good. Holds down, it holds it down. When these are done, it's, it's practically sealed, so everything stays dry inside it. That's why they're cutting it off. See, I didn't know. You got Terry here explaining professionally. Cut it off the front after two, or? Uh, yes. We cut, we cut the excess, and we'll probably cut some of the rubber off the front. Oh. So right now, they are chalking a four inch line, four inches in line, to know exactly where to put the seam. That way it sits perfectly level, or square, basically. And they're going four inches in because we scrape with the rubber. That way the scraper doesn't catch it. Yeah, we can. Yeah, right here. Yeah. You guys doing touch-ups? No, you gotta suck it in. Yeah, we're doing touch-ups. So we have two touch-ups. <laughs> they're going by like 20 feet, and then when there's dips, Gerhard and Christoph are making it perfect. And just come back and set on the curb. We don't want to go too far and we don't want to go too short. Yeah. Just, but we're just, with everybody pulling, just Are you going to go past? Gonna we're going to pull this up now. We're going we're gonna to kind of get the up on here. edge lifted and up on there. Kneel down on this, it's going to pull. So you saw us pull it up there and now right now they're working on anchoring that top corner to the exact line and on this side he put a pipe on it and clamped it on and we're grabbing the skid steer and once it's anchored we're going to pull it tight and line it up to the chalk line that way everything's nice and tight and there's no waves I got the skid steer started. You can see it's all loose and hanging.
You're pulling off right here. She's slipping. <laughs> they didn't Chris tighten it enough. I like Chris off. <laughs> what, old man? That ain't more. An old man. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, don't see that in the video. What? <laughs> I said that. Oh. <laughs> So now they're going to anchor this side, and you can see we have it lined up perfectly. They're going to anchor this, then it can't move. And then these white strips, all the way up. Definitely mixed up now. So we put the chalk marking on this side, Gerhard and me, while they're hammering that side, because once it's all hammered on and uh, lagged down, We'll pull it up enough out of the way to bring the other one in so we can do both sides kind of at the same time. <laughs> going quick. They got it all lagged down, and uh, well, the first bit, yep. and now Kristoff and Gara are leaf blowing all the sawdust and crap off up there, and then they're gonna blow this off, and then we'll fold it up out of the way so we can put some here and keep going on that, or whatever you want to do. What's the it's dusty. Yeah. Oh, you're lying. It is some lime. We used sawdust yesterday because it was easy to clean off. Yeah. So we took the mats out last night, threw, threw sawdust on. You won't use so much sawdust when we get the bag clean. It'll save you a lot of sawdust. You gotta talk louder, Terry. The said, it'll save you a lot of sawdust once you get the bag clean. It doesn't take much. Yeah. Kristoff, you're very good at blowing. We're working on it. Home too. So he's rolling out a vapor barrier. We'll roll it out, then we'll unfold it. And it looks like bunk plastic. It kind of looks like bunk plastic, <laughs> just much smaller. Kristoff, oh, you failed. No, this is not my area. Yeah, it was clean. Alrighty. Ferdy's bringing in the mats. That way we can have people lay in that, and we'll start on the other side. The vapor barrier, we're getting leveled, we're lining up the seam. That way it's even. And we got a bunch of people here with us helping his crew. So we'll try to get two things done at once. Terry's throwing a couple down just to keep the plastics keep sturdy. The plastic and then one of his guys or two of them are squaring them. We're just throwing them down. And that way it keeps... What do you think, Alex? You found your new bed? She thinks so. They're putting in little plastic strips in the front. You want help? In front of every single uh, mat. That way it stops them from being able to slide forwards. We bent uh, what are those like little six to seven inch pieces in half so they V up. And then that way they can't slide forwards.
now that this is up, they're tensioning it every 12 feet. We already have the stuff up there to start on this side, but we need the skid steer to be able to push on this bar so it tightens the beds up. Once that's out, we'll unroll the next one while that's getting sealed up on the front. So, helping Terry tighten this up with the tightening part. With stretching. The rest of the crew is putting the ceiling strip down, the anchor, or the hold the front down. So they have their homemade stretching tool. have these two herds mixed. Okay, there's no cows here. They all decided to take off in the second herd. They decided they like second herd more for some reason. But uh trying to keep it so there's plenty of space for them all. I gotta help Terry. So you can see what Terry and me were doing. We we're doing this, stretching it. And then this is what the rest of the crew is doing. They're putting in the front top uh, top and they're cutting off any excess. So now it's nice and sealed up. This is, I'm basically thinking it's all done. This is all done, right? What they did, or is there more from still? There, from there up's done, yeah. Okay, so yes. Cut it, trim it. This part is, basically, it is all done. So this is, this is your bed. This strip's cut off, we've been doing that. They're almost done securing that. We're gonna pick this up real quick. And then Terry said what they're looking for is there's gonna be like a ripple that starts right there. And then it also needs to start on that end and then basically that means it's tight enough. So that kind of triangle you see there starting will be on the other end. And that'll allow it to look perfectly smooth like this with no, uh, no bumps. Yeah, we're actually gonna watch Andreas work for a second since normally he's on the camera all the time. But look at that, he's on his knees, and that's about it. Terry ran out of nails. Excuse us. I'm sorry. I gotta grab one more plastic for the front. They got all the front ones, uh, those front plastics nailed in so the mats can't move. Putting in the water vapor, folding it up. And then we gotta flip it up and then start stretching it like we were doing on that side with the skits here. And then this front section here will be good. And then when the cows are built, we can let them start coming over yeah. here. It's gonna be kind of a, a mix, a cluster to do the milking for the herds because they are mixed, but we'll put in about as many cows as it should be, milk them, and then 
let them come into first herd, and then whatever's left, milk that as second herd, and then uh, mix them back in after. It'll work. You just gotta do what you gotta do to be able to do the beds and deal with the milking cows at the same time. Because it is an, plus, it plus, is a functioning plus, operation right now. And the good thing is once the cows go in for milking, we'll basically be done this half of the barn. So they'll be able to lay here. So it'll free up a lot of space. Johan's blowing off any little, little bit of sawdust or manure. So it's all ready to roll. Good job. <laughs> First herd's getting milked. Kristoff's scraping that side down. Um, Terry, Eddie, and Kristoff just got done stretching this one. And now they're starting to put on the black front strips to anchor it down. These pallets right here are gonna get used to put the old mats on for the other side. That job will probably get done tomorrow, but, well, we're doing that side will get done tomorrow, but we, we'll put the mats on these pallets today. Christos working out, working on pulling out those old mats. Works actually very slick with the skid steer. He's powering, putting them on a pallet. We got the uh, extra fabric cut off and we're gonna be ready to pull it up. They got enough people. We chalked it already to put the four inch line on. Now we gotta lag it, or not lags, pins. My bad. <laughs> so Kristoff's gonna, he's sweating because he's holding it tight. I think he loosened it up a little bit. So he's gotta tension that, stretch it. That side's anchored. Then we can pin this side and let go. Birdie's cleaning this off, and then we could throw down the uh, the, the, the vapor plastic, then the the uh, foam. What? The and then we could flip it up. Got Eddie placing them. And then I think Terry's grabbing one more for the end. We got to cut to size. They're putting on the front brackets for this, or the front anchors. And Kristoff is Christoph is already putting sawdust down. It's all good sawdust on the floor that we pushed down this morning. Kristoff's cleaning the floor over there again. That way it's clean to work. And it is honestly taking like 30 seconds for the cows to already, I think I already saw one sit down in the very beginning. So it's not taking very long. They're almost done ripping out the mats on the top. You can see them up there with the light. So they're tightening up the last corner. Pushing it a little bit sideways, anchoring it down so it's stretched. And then that's the last of the stretching for tonight. Because it is pitch black out. What time is it though? It's not even late. 5.30. So it's actually not even too late, but it's pitch black out. And all that's really left is all the anchoring and to bed it down. They're doing the one seam for this long side.
right under a stall where it doesn't bother a cow. Terry's hitting the nail every other time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta shove it in after the stall. <laughs> Dennis and Terry got done cutting the last of this stuff off on the front. And the sawdust that was on the, on the ground, it's still perfectly fine. They threw back in the beds. Um, Christoph's gonna he bed at the other side. He's gonna bed this side. He's got lime. Either one works. I said we we're gonna do sawdust first, but I think he ran out of sawdust that we have right now. So he's gonna throw lime in, but it's not like it matters. Christoph going to town. My battery keeps dying, but they're gonna go unmix the cows. And then tomorrow morning, it's just sawdust for now, but tomorrow we'll have all the mats done on this side. I think it was about almost 400 feet worth of mat that was put in today. So it was a lot done in one day. <laughs> 